Hello, you join me here at a very sunny Foxwood Resort in Connecticut, where we've been lucky enough to be flown out here by TaylorMade to have a look at the new product line they're launching. One of the new products is this new M1 driver. Now this replaces the R15 driver, which was launched last year, number one driver on tour. And with that technology, you had the sliding weight in the front, which moved the CG low and forward to reduce your spin and increase your launch and get you more distance. Um, and also had the sliding weight, which, which allowed you to change the shot shape. But with the R15 driver, first of all, some golfers found it a little bit confusing to find the setting that worked best for them. But also, it didn't allow golfers to really dial in that final two, 300 RPM of, of spin that was really going to help them achieve the maximum distance they could. And Taylor may think they've achieved that with this new M1 driver. Now, first thing to talk about, I think, is the crown. You can see here, it's got a very different look at a dress. Now, carbon fiber, carbon composite crowns, it's not a new idea, it's been done before, but TaylorMade have been working on this for a few years to make sure it gives you a performance benefit. Now, obviously, it's much lighter than your standard titanium crowns, and what that's allowed TaylorMade to do is implement this T-Track system on the back, so as well as the, the usual sliding weight we see here behind the face, they've also got a secondary sliding weight here at the back of the sole, and that's gonna allow golfers to change the spin and the launch angle. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can see here it says high and low, so high on the back, move the weight back. It's gonna increase the launch, but also give you higher spin than it would give you than if the weight was at the front. So it's the low spin position, so it really helps you fine tune that ball flight. Again, it's got the same sliding weight on the front, so you can add fade or draw bias to your shots depending on your preference. We also see the 12 position loss sleeve here on the, on the hosel. So again, you're really able to fine tune the, the spec that's gonna work for you. And I've been lucky enough to have a custom fitting session here today. We hit a few shots first of all with my R15 driver. Always been a fan of the R15 driver. It feels very stable, impact, uh, very powerful, but never really felt like it outperformed anything else on the market. It was certainly up there with them, but with this M1 driver, uh, that wasn't the case. I really did feel like this was a step ahead of everything in terms of performance. First thing you look down at a dress is the crown. Obviously you can see it's got a very unique design, but I do feel like with this black the face and the white crown helps you align the face. Um, you know, this section here is not too off-putting after a few shots, you soon get used to it. R15 for me was carrying around the 265 mark, I believe, I need to get hold of the data, but I think it was about that, um, totaling around the 280 mark. Moving on to the M1 driver, First thing that hits you is just how powerful and stable it is at impact. It's got a slightly different sound, uh, maybe slightly higher pitch, very much more powerful, but I wouldn't say it's loud. It's still relatively muted, just has a very different kind of ting to it, uh, which I liked. Um, so move through a different uh, through configurations of the settings, through the fitting, uh, worked out with my miss left, shove that uh, weight in the front track in the toe, going to help neutralize that ball flight certainly worked for me but also my spin tends to be a little bit high so moving this other weight towards the front of the sole had the best combination for me so I was getting the fade bias that I needed to keep the ball straight and also the low spin to keep the distance up and that combination for me absolutely blew the R15 out of the water I think uh, carry distance was up by about 10 yards total distance up to 290 uh, I think it was up from you know 15 yards uh, from the R15. Admittedly, didn't hit the R15 great during the fitting, but I did hit a couple of shots and they weren't comparable with the new M1 driver. M1 driver was streets ahead. Um, so, you know, I do recommend you give this a go. Has a slightly higher retail price given the, the material that they're using this crown, so £429. But like I said, 25 different shaft options. You can change the loft, you can change the shot shape, you can change the spin, you can change the launch. So you're going to find a setting that's going to work for your game and uh, recommend you give it a try.